live in violet fam well today let's see 20 minutes today i have on this vitalizing i am rose mask i got it from ulta and it's by tony molly where i ripped it <laughs> okay so i'm going to take this off of my fresh face and white, white, white. Hey, Living by the Family. So I am here today to kind of um, talk about five tips on how to attract the guy. So this is gonna be like a grown woman thing. Okay, so the five tips are, I got them all written down. It's gonna be beauty, Number two, attitude with self-confidence, mystery, and are you interesting? Are you fun? And number five, play the game, girl. We have to play the game. So I'll explain to you all those different things. Excuse my brows, actually, because I'm trying to let them grow in. I'm trying to let my, my brows grow in before I go ahead and get them, you know, tweezed. Not tweezed, but um, threaded again. I like how the lady had shaped my brows, but I want them to be a little bit more fuller than what they are. But one thing that happened to me today that inspired me too, I had walked up at the store and it was like three teenage young men that was um, waiting in line. And they were just like this. You need to know how to get the guy to have that deer in the headlights, called it a headlights look. Or, oh my gosh, I have to get her attention. But all I remember is walking in and one of the young men was like, how you doing? I was like, hello, hi. And no, I'm not a cougar. And not a cougar to that extent. Those are babies. Who thought this is? I'm 34. But it's just a good analogy because that was the first thing that happened today. By the way, I am not a MUA. I'm just doing things the way that I know how to do them. So once again, this is a grown woman. It's not like a whole makeup tutorial. My nails, by the way, they are mood color so when they're warm they turn yellow and then when i'm cold they turn orange so i guess my tips are a little on the cool side <laughs> i'm just gonna do what i do with these um eyebrows i think i'm gonna go with the natural look today i usually have my brow pencil but i'm going to go with this it's something rima beauty I went and got my uh, eyebrow squeeze one day, and um, this is like a powder type of brow fillers. Okay, so number one, the first thing that a guy sees or pay attention to is your beauty. Um, make sure that you are well put together and nice and neat, and that you just carry yourself with self-confidence. I know that when I was uh, a teenager, so a few years ago, I'm 34 now. Um, when I was a teenager and when I was um, in my early 20s, when my mother would always tell uh, me and my sister is um, to make sure that we were neat going out the, out the house. Like, okay, did you put gel on your edges? Um, make sure you put earrings on. You know, it's just like kind of paying attention to detail type of thing. She always made sure that we had our uh, lipstick, I mean, lip gloss on, um, my face moisturized, and it's the little things. And once you think about it, men are attracted to those little things. See, if you really take care of yourself, if you take pride in how you dress and how you um, leave out the house. You know, we do have those days where we just want to leave out the house and some men are attracted to that too 
where you just like, okay, I just need to run a, a quick errand real quick. But they want to know that, okay, you take pride in going outside. You're not going to go outside in house shoes and um, rollers in your hair or whatever. It's like, you know, you just rolled out of bed and you just went and didn't brush your teeth or whatever. Just do a little simple stuff. Look like you are manicured. That is the first thing. Um, and if you go a step further and you just like, you're the type of woman that likes to um, get all dialed up and have your face beat to the gods, then that's what you do. You know, you have to be you because you want this, you want the guy to be attracted to you and who you are. And if a part of who you are is being totally made up, then do that. If you are a natural woman, natural girl, free spirit, do that. Whatever makes you feel beautiful because that's what's going to attract the guy. <laughs> Next thing I'm going to do is um, just use this eyebrow mascara. And this is the Ulta brand, actually. Oh, this is NYX. This dark one that I have is NYX uh, color mascara. And it's in the color of, well, I had it for a little while, so. This is brown, in the color brown. And sometimes when I want a darker brow, I'll use this. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just filling it in. Just enough. Okay, so the next one, the next thing that I would like to uh, talk about, the second one is attitude and self-confidence. Attitude and self-confidence, it, it starts from the inside out. People can get an impression about who you are just by first impressions. You know, if you look very ple pleasant and you have a pleasant countenance, on your face and a, a pleasant demeanor. A lot of people are attracted to that. Um, males, females, babies, dogs, cats, puppies, turtles. You get the picture. <laughs> but people read your spirit. I really feel that people and everybody reads your spirit. One thing that helps me to gauge whether or not I am a good person and this might sound weird, but what helps me to gauge that I'm a good person is when babies and um, and little uh, pets are attracted to me. When um, animals are uh, not afraid of me. Well, not wild animals, but I'm talking about domesticated animals. And when uh, children, children, they definitely read personalities. If they're attracted to you, more likely you have like a very approachable, um, beautiful spirit about you. So that's another thing that um, men and guys are attracted to is just your attitude and your self-confidence on how you, you carry yourself. Do you carry yourself with your head held high? Do you love yourself, girl? Because it shows. It shows when you walk around and do stuff. People can read that. Even the pets and the babies. I'm gonna look for some primer. I don't think I have any primer for my eyes. I think that I'm just going to use some type of, okay, I do have some primer. New matte eyeshadow primer from Ulta Beauty. You can tell I had this for a long time. I need to do something about some of my old makeup. I know that you're supposed to like, get rid of old makeup after like three or six months or something like that okay so the, the third one number three is mystery now mystery in the sense of like they don't want to know like your whole life story I have this Maybelline ColourPop that I um, I bought from Ulta. So I am going to try this on my eyes. 
I'm an amateur, y'all, to this, so. I can't tell you like, oh, you have to use this type of brush and blah, blah, blah. I'm still getting used to this, even though I'm an OG at age. Don't judge me. But the third one is mystery. And, you know, I'm an introverted person. Um, I tend to understand that I attract people just because people want to get to know who I am. And I keep myself a mystery. I'm very private. And for some reason, people are attracted to mystery of a person. Like, oh, I wonder what type of what type of person she is. I wonder what, what things she likes to eat. I wonder what she likes to do. Um, she looks like she is a person that likes to travel and she's a free spirit. She looks like she's a person that likes uh, to go to the art museum, you know, stuff like that. People like to guess, especially men. I think that men like to uh, figure out what type of person you are just by first impressions and looking at you. Um, they don't want it all laid out on the table all the time. First, I went in with the chilling and, which is that one, and the tonic, but those are not potent enough, so I'm going in with the sugar high. So let me see how that works out. Oh, okay. I am not a pro, y'all. Don't judge me. I'm telling you, don't judge me. Why am I doing this first and I didn't um, put on my foundation? because I'm not good at doing several things at once. But not only that, um, I'm, a, I'm a natural gal. I'm very natural, so it's not, it's very rare that I will wear uh, foundation and stuff. But I do have this Fenty and it's bomb. I'm hoping that it's still my color because I had a tan over the summertime. It's fall now, so I'm hoping that it blends in well. Usually I use this primer, this Fenty primer, and I put like a little bit of coconut oil in it to kind of loosen it up, you know, just to help it glide on a little bit more. I tend to see that it's less ashy when I put a little bit of oil in it. I know people will use like, um, got those little oils the well anyway i'll use coconut oil with my primer because it's a natural oil next i'll go ahead and i'm just gonna do one squirt to make it sheer like a sheer coverage Okay, so. Men, you know, I feel that they are visual creatures. And, you know, God kind of uh, created them to be that way. So when, you know, biblically in the Bible, like when Adam first saw or first seen Eve you know he was attracted to her by her beauty and first before he ever got a chance to know who she was he he observed her and I was like okay she's flesh of my flesh bone of my bone you know he wanted to kind of he observed her and had a his own inclination about who she was and 
comparison about what she was all about. I believe that all young, all young men, men in general, want to be able to size us up in the same way. I mean, naturally they're hunters. You know, just think about it. They like football games. They like basketball games. They like to size up players and and visualize. Okay, you know, they this this and this and this and this. They want to analyze things by the way people look, by the way they carry themselves, and everything else. So, if you keep the mystery there without just putting it all out there, and then they'll it'll give them the opportunity to do that. to figure out, oh, what kind of person she is. You know what, the way that she dressed, she seemed like she's the type that wouldn't mind going to a sports game with me. Or, you know what, she out here working out and stuff like that, she is a, she likes to be health conscious and um, maybe she will like to go to this particular restaurant with me. Um, she's out at the movie theater with her girlfriends and you know what, she seemed like she's fun to be around. Maybe she'll like to go to the amusement park. Give them that mystery to really try to figure out what type of person that you are while you're living your life. And that is a segue to my next point or the next tip, number four. Are you interesting? Are you fun? You need to go out there and live your life. Men are very attracted to women that are out there living their life and doing the things that they love. I noticed that um, when I'm out there doing my th my own thing, staying out of the way, minding my business, that's when I get the most attention. I remember working in retail and I got a couple of the celebrities that will come in there to shop. I'm minding my business and they paying attention to me. I'm at the airport and this singer guy, I didn't even recognize him at first because um, he's a singer from a singer group from the 90s. And this was recent, like a couple years ago, but he got my attention. I'm sitting up here, minding my business, waiting in line for me to do my baggage check. And he is sitting up here trying to make, make me recognize him. Like, do you know who I am? I'm a famous person. It's like, no, 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 after you. <laughs> But yes, if you carry yourself like, okay, you got so many place to go, things to do. And that goes back to the mystery thing. If you're the type of person that go around and say, and just act like, okay, I'm living my life. I'm minding my business. I got places to go, things to do. Then it makes them want to know more about you too. When I met my fiance as well, that's what it was all about. I met my fiance over in Germany when we both were serving uh, in the military over in Germany. And just me walking around, minding my business, word was getting around about this E6, which is was my, my rank at the time. Um, this E6 they seen walking around and she looked like this and she looked like that. And I was a nameless person that everybody was trying to figure out who I was because it was mystery. I guess I seemed interesting because they're like, okay, you know, she's over here by herself. Is she married? Does she have any kids? Is she a civilian? And they seen me in my civilian clothes. And um, that's what made my fiance very, attracted to me too because he was trying to figure out who I was and why I was over there and he wouldn't talk to me until the third time he uh, see me around 
So sometimes you don't have to just put yourself out there. If they really like you, if they're really interested in you, they are going to seek you out. They are going to pursue you. And the trophy at the end of the other day is figuring out how to get to know you better. That's, that's the trophy. And as long as you know that you are the trophy homie, <laughs> I said homie, as long as you know that you're the trophy girl, just understand that if he is the one, he's going to pursue you. Yeah, there are a lot of girls out here that, that's going to get what they want. They see what they like and they, um, they're going to pursue the guys. But more than likely, if he wants you, he ain't gonna be paying attention to all that. He's gonna be paying attention to the girl with the mystery. Cause it's no fun. It's no fun in dating when everything is out there provided for you. Okay, I'm just um kind of doing a light contour to my face. And I'm um, just blending it all in. Okay. And number five is play the game, girl. Play the game. If they come at you with the, hey, how you doing? They're like, you know, you go ahead, give them a smile. Like, hey, how you doing? Give them a little bit of eye contact and go buy, buy your business. If they really, really want your attention, they want to seek it. Actually, I'm going to tell you when I first met this celebrity, this singer, well-known singer. I'm not going to say his name, but I remember I was working at the retail store. At the time, we had to stand by the dressing rooms and let our people in and just stand by the dressing rooms while they are trying on their clothes I was just singing to the songs and stuff not paying this guy any attention I'm like I know he's a celebrity it is our protocol in the store that if any celebrities come into the store that you treat them normal and don't get starstruck so you treat them like any other customer so he came in and he was looking around he walked past me as I was being me <laughs> and singing along to the songs and stuff. And um, he went, well, as he walked past, he was like, sing that song, girl. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, a lot of times I feel like I'm a fly on the wall and nobody notices me. And I'm noticing that people are very intrigued by those that feel that they're invisible. Oh goodness, it's so funny. Like it's so funny. Okay, so this one, and it's too dark. It's the soda fizz. I'm gonna go ahead and go along with it anyway. I'm gonna correct it. I'm gonna just blend it. I went with it because it shimmers. It looks like a train wreck right now, but just, just trust me. Trust me on this. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the cherry cola. Let me see how that looks in the crease. And cherry cola kind of got like a shimmer to it. So I'm just gonna try to blend that out the best way that I can. That's another thing I'm gonna do. I'm going to um, invest into some brushes because that's the one thing I don't have right now. It's like different type of makeup brushes to do certain things. And I think that it will encourage me to um, do more makeup and wear makeup out. Because I only wear makeup when I'm going out, like on a date or just doing something special or about to take some pictures or something like that. And my hair, doesn't it look luscious? Well, kind of ash right now but my hair doesn't look luscious just bought some like main choice products 
It's like the oil, the Biotin oil. It's this um, moisturizing spray and then like this uh, styler. I'll probably put it into the description box about what that was. <sighs> Again, I need some brushes. I need some makeup brushes. I think I need a little bit more dark tone. So I'm gonna go with the cherry on top. See if I can bring more definition to my eye. Seems as though people are more intrigued by me when I'm just living my life, doing me. I'm not paying attention to whoever is looking in on whatever it is I'm doing. I remember going to this dream concert and um, I was there with a cousin of mine and I was just having fun because at the time I just broke up with my boyfriend and I was like, you know, I forget him. I don't care. I'm about to come out here and have me some fun. And I was just dancing to all his songs and all other stuff. And I remember the guys behind me, one of them got my attention. He was like, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy watching you dance tonight. the little things the little things that attract them you don't have to really put yourself out there to be noticed by the guys my eyebrows are looking worse and worse worse and worse worse and worse it's all good I'm gonna do a little bit of um eyeliner and stuff too. The one with a a pencil. This is not my particular eyebrow pencil that I usually use because it's a little bit lighter. But this is one is um black brown by NYX. But again I'm trying to let my eyebrows grow in so that's the reason why they're looking a little bit ratchet or a lot of bit ratchet. But as Shameless Maya would say, do you, boo-boo. And if you're out there living life, doing you, generally, you will attract those that are attracted to your way of living your life. Whether that be going to the beach, going to the movies, shopping at Home Depot, going to the grocery store. Men are attracted to those that are happy living their life. Point blank period. Men are happy with women that are enjoying their life, enjoying being themselves, have self-confidence, and exudes that from the inside out. And generally, when you love yourself and you are confident, it shows. It shows. And I noticed that the more pleasant I am, the more approachable and the more um, attention that I get as well. Right now, I'm just using the another Ulta brand, Plus Drama. I think it came like with this kit that I had like when they give those little free giveaways, when you buy certain things at the store, it came like in this little pouch here. I love. Again, this is like day makeup. I'm not doing anything like really drastic or anything. Um, I have worn lashes before but I usually just wear them again on special occasions like I wore them to the on the run, on the run tour too when I went on when I went to the concert and then another time that I wore lashes out is when I did a photo shoot 
for myself for my 34th birthday. I know. Probably put a picture down at the bottom so you can see some of the pictures. trying to do too much again this is something very simple I think I want to do like a glowy look on my cheeks and stuff about to do a little bit of strobing a little bit of strobing, a little bit of strobing. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm gonna do it with Fenty, one of the matchsticks. And this one is tripping. I'm just gonna put that on my top of my cheekbone. Usually I put it like right underneath my brow bone too, but in this case, I'm just gonna do it right there blend it and then I'm going to use the powder on top of that. Blending, 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 blend, blend, blend. Then I'm going to use the powder with a brush. See my birthmark. When I was in school, when I was in 11th grade, I used to um, be in this classroom full of boys. And maybe that's another reason why I act the way that I do too, because there's only two girls out of like 13, 20 boys in my um, art class. So I had to ignore them a lot. And they had a kick out of that, including my crush. My crush that I just was in love with since, um, was it fourth grade? Dang since fourth grade but he used to tease me when I was in middle school and just make kissy like put his hand around my my shoulder and, and kissy face but because I was so dang shy um and I wasn't like the other girls that you know were more out you know just outgoing they didn't pay me no attention and I wound up finding out that word on the street was don't mess around with Brianna because she's not like that so I didn't get a whole lot of play in high school or in middle school but I dated a lot once I turned 18 yes and that might be another story time that I do too I dated about over 50 plus guys and did not give up the cookie And it had a lot to do with the five tips that I just um, given you. Now they all first attracted to the beauty, my self confidence, the mystery. So it was like, okay, you want to take me out and find out more information about me and what kind of person I was. So that was like the treat. That was like the trophy. Actually, um, taking me out to find out and unlocking that mystery about me. And then, um, am I interesting and fun? I went along with the flow i was like yeah i would like to go out with you blah blah and i played the game what it is that they wanted to know about me and everything else i'll give them a little bit here a little bit there and i was good company but i also let them know what type of person that i was and i had standards and they respected that and they liked that they just wanted you know wanted to be in good company around Somebody that's, you know, they feel that is attractive and beautiful inside out. I'm gonna finish up the strobing. I'm about to use Girl Next Door and Chic Freak, the kilowatt. Again, I gotta buy me some brushes, so. This one kind of have like a whitish, like or a silverish tone, which is the uh, the girl next door and chic freak. It seems like that, like more of the golden undertones. So 
kind of like to put the girl next door underneath my brow, brow bone because it's kind of like got that nice sheen to it. And then the Chic Freak, I like to put like right on my top of my bone. And I've seen somebody do this too, which is like, oh, okay, you know, that's a good idea. Put the Chic Freak there. I have like the glow going on. I am not a pro. It's a day make up. And I'm not a pro, you all. I'm not a pro, I'm not a pro. And out for the, just to give my cheeks a little bit more color, I'm going to use this Ginger Beard Binge Moscow Mule uh, Kilowatt from Fenty. Let's see, it has more like a um, shimmer to it. Now I'm going to apply some kind of, I do not want that type of lipstick. I want like a shimmer lipstick, but this one is a little bit too violet to me. I know, violet, living violet. Let's try it out. I mm. never know, it might look nice. I'm gonna have like a sheer coverage to it. This is, um, from Fenty Beauty as well, and it's called Supernova. Look like I need a liner or something. Let's see how a matte will look. Um, this one is by NYX and it's Liquid Suede. Okay, so it's Brooklyn Thorn, that's what it's called. Let's try this out. Girls get fillers, get these things. But oh my gosh, it's really a skill I feel to apply lipstick to large lips, large voluptuous lips. I don't think that I'm really feeling that either, though. Are you? I'm a sheer girl. I'm a sheer girl my issue. I know what to do. I got some lip glosses popping. Let's try this one last can. <laughs> do my little 90s thing. Seeing what it looks like. And I always do this too to my edges because my bottom lip tends to be a little bit larger than my top lip. So To taper it down just a little bit. <laughs> it's still not turning out the way that I want it to. And this is something that my um, a friend of mine she had gave to me. It's like this like shimmery gloss. This is like my 90s look. And put my little cream glasses back on. Boom, boom, boom. So, Living Violet Sound, thank you for tuning in. 
how can I forget the setting? So this is um, Fix by MAC. It's like a, a setting spray. This stuff is great. Daytime, daytime. Mm-mm-mm. Jumbo Beans. Okay, so ladies, that's all I have for you for today. Um, so once again, believe me, if you are just minding your business, doing you, looking fabulous, and just living a fabulous life, you gonna grab his attention because he's gonna be like, who is this girl? And all that other stuff. All these songs coming up in my head. Eve, who's that girl? La 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 la. <laughs> uh, my teenage years was in the 90s, y'all. Like the late 90s, early 2000s. And shoot, the, once you think about it, some most of the music was about that too. Like um, Jay Z's Excuse Me Miss, uh, B.I.G. or uh, Big Papa when he was talking about um, to all the ladies in the place with style and grace allow me to lace and then all of a sudden um, Puff Daddy talked about you tell your friends get my friends and we can be friends is that alright with you and then uh, Crush on You by Lil' Kim you know it's all about the chase so when you play the game you implement that fifth tip that, or you just know about that, that fifth tip it's all about allowing the man to chase playing the game, letting him know that you ha he has your attention, but just give him a little bit here and there. Cause it's like, they wanna earn what, they wanna earn your attention. To be honest, I don't know, am I right or wrong? Do anybody agree or disagree? If you agree or disagree with these tips, um, just let me know in the description box. Um, these are the things that worked for me when I was dating. Um, I'm engaged now, um, but I know that it's like a different era now that social media has come into play. So it's like dating is a whole lot different now from what I'm used to. But I also see that right now, even in the social media age, these things still apply. Men are attracted to your beauty, attitude, they want to know if you're a little bit mysterious, not just like... You know, they want to be able to find out things about you without oneself putting everything out there, you know. And then they just want you to play along with with whatever they desire. They want to be able to earn your respect of them. They want to earn uh, the privilege to, to spend time with you. Because, girl, you are the gem. It's, it's biblical that our worth is far more than ruby so act that way and so until next time i'll see you all later peace